Let's consider a set of n items, and we want to create pairs of items. Assuming that we will not allow repetitions uh, within the pairs, so uh, we will not allow a pair to contain two items which are the same, and that uh, we don't care about the order, so uh, a pair AB is the same as a pair BA, then the number of pairs of items that we can create is n times n minus 1 divided by 2. Consider an example where we have four colored balls, red, green, blue, and yellow. So n equals 4. We have four items. Then the pairs that we can create uh, with those four color balls, red, green, red, blue, red, yellow. Note that green, red is not a different pair. It's the same as red, green. So we don't count green, red as a separate pair. We can also create green, blue, green, yellow and blue yellow and of course we cannot create a pair such as blue blue we do not allow repetitions so in this case we have of the four items four times three divided by two or six pairs a second example consider a communications network which has five stations five computers and we want to connect them together via links so here we have five stations a through to B, then we to connect all possible pairs of stations we need to connect A to B, a link from A to C, A to D, A to E, so there's five links and then B also needs links to the other stations, so B already has a link to A, assuming that's a, a duplex link, B can send to A, so we do not count a, another link there, but B to C, B to D, and B to E. So, sorry, the first set was four links, now an additional three links gives us seven links, and of course C needs a link to D and to E, so an additional two links brings us up to nine links, and finally we need a link between E and D. So we have ten links in this case, and the equation in this case we have five items, five computers in this case, the number of pairs we can create is five times four divided by 2, 10 pairs, or 10 links in this case. If we extended this network to a larger network which had uh, 10 stations, we'll not draw it, but 10 stations, and the number of links we'd need would be 10 times 9 divided by 2, which is 45 links. As a second example, let's say we have symmetric key encryption amongst a set of users and in our system we have 50 users so 50 people and with symmetric key encryption each user may want to encrypt data to send to another user so each pair of users needs a shared secret key so how many keys do we need in this system with 50 users the number of keys, well, we need a key for each pair of users. So user A and B needs a, a key. So we can calculate the number of keys as 50 times 49 divided by 2, which is 1,225. In a system of 50 users, where each user uh, uses symmetric key encryption, we need a, a total of 1,225 keys to be shared amongst those users.